Good evening. I'm Chief Meteorologist Travis Meyer. Thanks for joining us at NewsOn6.com. Well, we had some good rains earlier in the day. They gave us anywhere from about a half inch to two inches of rain, and it was much needed in several areas. Now we're getting closer to getting to near normal or getting full, but there's going to be a few more chances of rain yet this week. Kind of a mild start in the morning hours as we look at tomorrow morning. Upper 60s to around 70 will be common. As we go through the day, kind of a gusty south wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour. We'll need the breeze because it's going to be very warm. Temperature will be around 90 to low 90s, and it will be muggy. We'll look at a slight chance of a few pop-up storms in the afternoon. After that, we have a cool front that is going to be starting to move through. That front, which is positioned tonight to our north and west, will move into our area as we work our way into uh, really late Wednesday night and then on into early Friday morning or Thursday morning, I should say. That system will then move on through, and once it moves through, then we're going to be left with a very warm weekend, basically kind of, you could almost say, hot and dry. We are going to be watching, though, for a possibility of some tropical weather developing in the far southern portion of the Gulf of Mexico. Meantime, things are nice. We're looking at 70 degrees in the morning, warm in the afternoon. It'll be windy, mid-80s at noon, around 90, low 90s in the afternoon with gusty south winds. And we'll have about a 20% chance of a late afternoon storm. Our best chance of storms will be overnight with the passage of that front into early Thursday morning. And then Thursday afternoon, Friday looked great, and then a little bit of summer for Saturday and Sunday. It's the last official summer weekend, so if you have a chance, you might just enjoy it while it's here. And then next week, we have a cold front coming in sometime around Wednesday with a slight chance of storms.